Hi, my name is Paul Gordon of iState.tv, and this is your iState iTop of the day. Social media giants face Senate scrutiny or Senate's social media smackdown. If you want to get the details of what actually is happened in the hearing yesterday, and you can bet that I'll cover what happened today. I'll, 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 I'll go over that tomorrow. Not necessarily sure if it'll make the eye top, but it'll be on iState.tv. I'm, I'm sure of that. I'm 99% sure of that. Go to iState.tv. I'll also put the link in right at the corner there. It should appear right as I point. Right as I point. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's, it's hard to get your bearing. There you go. There you go. The right-hand corner. You'll see it there. This video is really going to be just a, a little bit of a, of a warning to the folks on the left and the folks on the right who, for various reasons, may be applauding this government scrutiny and may be welcoming the regulating of social media. But before we do that, I just want to remind you folks of something that's very near and dear to my heart. Don't forget to subscribe to the iState YouTube channel. Hit that big red subscribe button right there. And after you hit the subscribe button, hit the big bell so you get notices when we make our next video. All right, so the U.S. Senate is currently scrutinizing social media giants Google, Twitter, and Facebook over the allegations that Russia meddled in the U.S. elections using social media ad buys. Now, I want you to watch this hearing very carefully. And like I said, yeah, iState is going to be watching this, going to be paying very, very close attention. So what I did in the article, which, again, I have linked, and I showed you the link at the beginning of this video here and i also will be linking in the description as usual and the comment section below i linked two stories i i took excerpts from two two stories one was uh carried by the guardian and one was carried by TechCrunch. and when you read the TechCrunch expert excerpt i want you to especially notice the pro-government slant that TechCrunch seems to have chosen to take regarding this hearing, not realizing, I'm sure, or maybe, maybe, who knows, I don't know who funds TechCrunch. They it may, may realize full well what they're doing. But let's just give them the benefit of the doubt and say not realizing that any door that you open to government lets in much more government than you imagine you are letting in. It's kind of like... You know, you've got a hurricane around you. You don't know it's a hurricane, you, but it's really kind of hot and stuffy inside. And you're like, dude, just open the door. Let's just let a breeze in here. And you open up the door and that hurricane force wind comes rushing through and wrecks everything on the inside. That's what it's like when you open the door to the government. And then that result of these hearings could result in legislation that would create powerful regulatory controls on social media that in the end and be used against whatever political group thinks that right now they might have an advantage granting government power to use. Hey, we could use this powerful tool to to go after our enemies. Now, in the, the Guardian article was, well, I mean, you can read it for yourself again in the link, but uh, they, they, they gave basically a brief synopsis where they... You know, they said the, the questions were cordial with few moments of contention. There was total agreement that Russia specifically had undertaken a broad campaign to meddle in the uh, election. And the companies uh, projected competent management of the problem. And uh, the, the highlight that they chose to focus on was uh, Facebook's Colin Stetch identifying all political ad buyers and discerning foreign agents. Uh, said, of course, the answer is no. And but what they're basically saying is that we can't, we can't filter out all that stuff. It's, it's pretty much impossible. And I, in the article, I also include a a video of of the hearing from yesterday, so you can watch for yourself. But, but TechCrunch, TechCrunch, the way that 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 they've worded things, uh, really kind of, uh, well, I'll just say, kind of bothered me so they say here toward i'll just read the last paragraph that i included from their very long article that sheepish there so so they're talking about uh 
uh, let's see, who is it here? Senator Amy Klobuch, Klobucher is, is, is questioning, uh, I don't know who they're questioning, but uh, she, I, I think she was questioning all three of the people there, Facebook, Google, and Twitter. There wouldn't be any an outside enforcer of any of your policies. That's Is that right? She demanded. That's how TechCrunch uh, chose to word it. They reluctantly admitted she was right and surely took notes for how to handle tomorrow's likely continuation of questions. That sheepish admission and others were about the only candid moments that the hearing produced as it swung from Russian intelligence operations to Islamic extremists and even to a predictably useless interlude from Senator Ted Cruz who squandered his time with a distracting line of questioning that accused accuse the companies of partisanship. And you know that, that's actually actually the that you have one and this is this is the heart of this video that I'm going to be presenting here and the, and the and the and the big focus of the video is this on one hand you're going to have the democrats who are looking at social media as a way to control the opposition on the other hand you're going to look at the republicans as a way to stop social media from executing partisan control and I'm not saying the degree to which social media actually does this or not. That's irrelevant. They're using this. The the Democrats are appealing to their base. Listen, man, you know they they're letting in these dangerous Russians and they're they're letting in you know these these foreign powers because the only way the Republicans could win is with foreign powers helping them and and those are the ones that are sneaking through. I mean we're 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 handling the other stuff you know the direct domestic stuff that we can easily notice, but. Uh, but this this foreign stuff, man, you guys got to give us the power. Hey, Democrat base, you got to give us the power to regulate these uh, social media giants and make sure that this doesn't happen again. Make sure Hillary doesn't lose another election. That's what we need to do. Make sure Hillary doesn't lose another election. And on the other side, you got the Republicans and, you know, they're crying, but they always cry. You know, their social media bias is working against us. And, you know, it's, you know, that, that's why you have talks from you have talks from so-called conservatives that are saying, you know, this is like a public utility at this point because it's so huge and everybody uses it. We've got to we've got to regulate a public utility at this point. It's it's clearly unbiased. Hey, Republican base. Hey, conservatives. I know this is you know ostensibly against everything that you stand for but listen man they're really they're really using that social media is against you and i i i tell you you got to give us the power to clamp down on these people we need regulatory control now here's here's what i'm not going to say that this is for sure true but i'm going to say that i am 90 plus percent sure true the democrats and the republicans they're pitching a different song but they're singing the same tune and the tune that they're both i my 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 suspicion is these guys are on the same freaking team but they're they're reaching different aspects of society trying to condition them in in multiple ways and most the most effective way of course is fear fear is the most effective way to sell a product you know tap into a fear and present a solution to that fear you know social media is totally screwing over your political power and it's totally helping the other political power we can fix that you guys gotta you know when we start introducing legislation that that begins to regulate social media you guys you know you guys gotta let us do it because you know we're, we love you man we're, we're, we love you it's, it's for you it's for the people that's what's happening here and that's why this is very important to see what's going on here because so far i'm totally seeing the left is totally buying it and they'd seem all for uh, social media regulation because they think that they're going to stop the Republicans and all these foreign powers that are working on the behest of the Republicans or the Republicans are working on, on the behest of foreign powers, however you look at that. And you got the conservatives over here like, I mean, it's, it's unfair what they're doing, man. Twitter, you know, Twitter just, uh, they, 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 they just kicked out the, that dude, uh, 
uh, Roger Stone. Uh, you know, they left. Right, they they kicked out Roger Stone, and they and they and they left. Uh, they left Keith Overman on there. Are you kidding me? Something's got to be done about that, man. Something's got to be done about that. You know, conservatives are supposed to be like entrepreneurs, ostensibly. You know, they are not thinking. Hey, man, maybe we better build a better mousetrap. Yeah, no, 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 no. Their answer is, hey, let's get social. Let's let's get government involved. Let's welcome them to regulate a a uh, a free exchange <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and let's give government that territory so so far they're both of them they're it's working and i don't know what the statistics are if there's a poll out there but i wouldn't be surprised if even right now the majority of americans favor some form of regulation of social media and i say i say hell's to the nose to I I don't like many things that social media has done. You saw my video if you if you if you watch this regularly, you saw my video on on YouTube where I call it CorpTube. I do I don't like what YouTube is doing. Uh, it, it's and you know it it doesn't it's, it's disadvantageous to me. But but okay, I'm I'm not calling for the government to rescue me. I'm looking for free market alternatives to YouTube, not government coming in to rescue my sorry ass and that's all i have to say about this for now but this is a topic that i'm sure it's uh, highly likely that we're going to be speaking about multiple times this is i am paul gordon of iState.tv, and this has been your itop of the day we'll see you you know when we make our next video don't forget, if you like what we do, go to our YouTube channel right here, youtube.com slash iState, and hit that big red subscribe button like that. And then after you hit the YouTube red subscribe button, hit that bell. Get notified about every new video just like that. And then you see that and you know that you are subscribed and you will be notified.